So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It's a pretty decent day today here in Pennsylvania, although it's not getting warm yet. It's only about 40 degrees here this morning. But anyway, I had to do some running around. And while we're out, we're going to stop at the uh, local park. If you remember a while back, heck, this must have been over a year ago, I sawed some big red oak. It was uh, three inches thick, and they were going to use it for some railings down here at the park. And I heard they got it done but I haven't got my eyes on it yet, so we're gonna stop and check that out. Oh, well, there you have it. Actually looks pretty nice. This is a uh, three inch thick red oak. He drilled through these beams here. But yeah, they did a nice job. Now what's nice about this, this wood came from a uh, oak tree from up by where the pavilions are. It was dead and they had it taken down and hauled over to my place. I sawed these up for them. Yeah, it looks good. Anyway, next up we're going to head back to the house and uh, we're going to cut and split some firewood. Hopefully a lot of firewood. And this should be the last day for it. I mean, we'll cut and split throughout the year some, but I'm just about finished up with all the logs I have down there at the yard. We're going to get that all cleaned up and like I mentioned in the last video, uh, that track loader, the Kubota SVL 97-2, will be here this week. It's at the dealer, and they need to do some work on it. Then it'll be sent down to my place, and uh, we'll get started with it. We have a lot of dirt moving to do. I mentioned before, we have a lot of property, but it's all trees, and it's all hills and valleys. So in order to get some usable space, you need to cut some trees and move some dirt. And uh, so that's the plan with the uh, track loader that's coming. that's a pretty good jag of wood I got split right there but I still have some more logs to go through I had more than what I thought uh, this is a mix of uh, mostly cherry a little bit of maple and just a tiny bit of oak in there as well what I try to do is split the oak extra small uh, helps it dry a little bit better I think but this stuff here will be ready to go by next fall the cherry and the maple it dries nice and fast Levi filled up another basket I have, uh, what do I have, seven more empties to get filled up. By the time we fill all those up, the woodshed can take another two cords or so. The uh, bunker should be about empty. So when I'm down here splitting firewood, I've got the headphones on and I'm listening to some music, but I'm always thinking about something as well. And I was thinking about this conveyor and this log splitter. Now you guys are all familiar with the Wolf Ridge. It works fantastic. It's actually probably three or four times as fast if you have two people instead of just one you know it's a great splitter great conveyor but you know what's the most amazing thing about this is this powder coat can you imagine how much wood along with this chain has been sliding up this conveyor since i've had this that is amazing it really is even on the table on the splitter now the beam, it's definitely got some wear right here, but uh, I'm telling you, that is amazing how well that powder coat holds up on this. But anyway, right now we're going to head up to the building. I'm kind of uh, slowly breaking in the new wood stove. I'll go over that with you in just a minute. 
the weather the last week or two has just been crazy. We have had uh, so much wind, and it kind of warms up a little bit for a day, but then it drops right back down again. You'll have a snow squall come through. The sun comes out. It's been doing that for probably a week and a half now. All right, we're up here in the uh, building, and I'm kind of uh, breaking in the wood stove, which, to be honest with you, I didn't know that was a thing. But my buddy Zach that installed this stone gave me pretty clear instructions how to do this right. But uh, this is the Regency Pro Series, the uh, F5200. It's an extra large hybrid wood stove. I had one fire in it uh, the other day. Now the way Zach explained it, you want to have uh, three kind of like a medium fires going. Don't get it super hot. And then you want to clean this glass after each time after it cools down. If you don't clean this glass, that little bit of soot on there will bake on it. After you do it those three times, you won't have to clean it as often. He gave me a, a bottle of this Speedy White hearth and stove cleaner. I'm just gonna apply it to the glass. That really cuts it well. It's pretty good stuff. I don't know how well you can see that, but boy, that did a fantastic job. Speedy White Hearth and Stove Cleaner. Cut right through that. Very nice. All right, we're ready to start a fire. I made sure the uh, glass has dried off real well. Now we're gonna open up the bypass damper and fully open the draft control. All right, it's been about, uh, I don't even know, 10 or 12 minutes so far. I still have the door cracked open a little bit, so it's, uh, it's really ripping right now. But I'm gonna close the door up. That'll slow it down a bit. Wait a few more minutes and I'll close the uh, bypass damper. We'll be good to go. All right, I just came back out, put another log on the fire. Burning really nice. I really, really like this wood stove. I was gonna go, uh, with one that was one size smaller, but they're kind of hard to get, so we went with the 5200, and I'm glad I did. It's got a fan motor on the back. I have it plugged in right now. It's still getting up to temperature. I mean, it's hot right now, but it's got a ways to go. This is another uh, medium burn, I guess you could say. I'll let this one burn out, let it cool down, and then tomorrow I'll clean the glass again, do it one more time. And we should be good to go. If you have a wood stove, you probably already use the Speedy White Hearth and Stove Cleaner. But if you don't, I highly recommend it. After one use, I highly recommend it. Works really well.
right, I'm back down here at the wood yard. Really nice day today, although uh, I think they're calling for rain the next couple days. I was hoping to finish everything up today as far as the wood cutting goes, but uh, I don't think I'll quite make it. I keep finding logs everywhere that I look. I got this over here to cut up yet. I got some uh, real big rounds right here that I cut there just a little bit ago. Some big cherry, some decent size oak. Like this cherry right here, it's been dead and down for probably two years. This stuff here would be ready to burn probably in just a few months. I need to uh, start bringing my moisture meter down here and get a better idea, but uh, you can just tell this cherry dries out pretty quick. But anyway, I'm going to fire up the splitter right now. We'll see what we can get done because uh, here in a little bit, we need to run out for a bit. Melissa and I and Eva are going to... Uh, Top golf. It's down uh, just below Pittsburgh. I haven't been there in a long time. I used to actually uh, golf quite a bit. I mean, not as much as what my friends do, but uh, yeah, I used to play some golf. I haven't played for a lot of years. I actually enjoyed it, but what would happen was every time I'd be out golfing, I would be thinking, you know, I could be doing this or I should be doing that. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But I wasn't a bad golfer, especially for as much as I played. Now tonight, I'm not sure how that's going to go. A lot of people have been asking about the uh, finger. It is very, very slow going. If you remember, I smashed this finger really bad and all the skin grew back. It was like a degloving thing, I think they call it. But uh, it gets better every day, but just a wee little bit. I still don't have full my mobility of it and it feels like it's in like a sleeve or something. But each day gets a little better. All the feeling and everything's there, but uh, I don't know. It's coming along really, really slow. Much slower than what I thought it would take. Matter of fact, I was actually joking at the time, but it turns out I may be right. I told Melissa when this happened, I said, geez, I could probably milk this thing till June. And uh, I think that may be the case. Archie, what you got there? That's a Scooby Doo van. <laughs> Where do you get mystery the mystery machine? Where do you get the mystery machine at? It was actually Ruger's, but he's using it right now. <laughs> huh? He's so proud of himself. 
Although we get down here and you have that on and he's just kind of like, yeah, we better wait. So, uh, I told everyone we're going to top golf tonight. Yeah, Mike loves it, but you know, with his finger, he's not sure. Holding the club, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> hmm. I can't wait. Yeah, you're quite the golfer. <laughs> I worked at a golf course. <laughs> Does that mean anything? When I was younger. Hey, you want to uh, give a little shout out for your t-shirts? Yeah, go to Outdoors with the Morgans. Dot com. That's our web page. In fact, the link will be in the description of this video. You can get um, the wood round, the finer things in life with Outdoors with the Morgans. Believe in yourself with, with the Sasquatch. You can believe, um, or you can get the Life is Better Outdoors with the Morgans. Um, that's the green print. We have a few new ones coming out that um, Mike's pretty excited about us, so I think you'll like them. One of my but, favorite sayings, actually. Archie, come over and plug your shirt. Come here, Archie. We have the Archie Fan Club. Tell everybody, the Archie fan club with um, Archie in his younger days when he was wearing his hair real short. And uh, we stick together as a stick. And um, and our website was down the other day for a day. We don't know what oh, happened, yeah. but we got it figured out and it's back working. But I'll put a link in the description. It was an April Fool's joke. Yeah, it was. It was on a, me. <laughs> and we made it through a whole April Fool's without you doing anything yeah, to me. Yeah, you've ruined it for me. I don't like that stuff. Oh, whatever. It's a lot of fun. Don't you feel good when you laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Not at my expense. <laughs> oh, speaking of laughing, I can laugh at myself, but I am um, <laughs> taking a drink of water and Mike was telling me a really funny story. Here she goes. Do you want to tell someone? No. He was telling me a really funny story. And um, I even said, hold on, but I was drinking water and I choked on the water. <sighs> but it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, would you All like right. to wrap this video up? Yeah, thanks so much for being here, for commenting, um, watching the videos, liking them, sharing them. We really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.